69 was a strange year. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown-up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Wait for me in the car. Gonna be long, Mom? Depends how long it takes to convince Mr. Hutt to pay me. I don't like him. Nobody does. Can I come with you? No, baby. Gotta do this alone. Louise? Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. I came to say goodbye, Betty. What? You're leaving? I want to spend more time with my kid. Something happened? No, I just feel like I don't even know who he is. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Oh, I'm out of time. You know, he can't mess with Hut when he's reading. Bet you can give it a shot. Can you help me out, Betty? Sure. What's up? The boss owes me 85 bucks. Overtime? Yeah. Can you take it out of the register? No, I can't do that. Okay, I'll wait till he's out of the can. Mom never waited for anything. Mom really dug Alvin. The war messed him up a bit, and he ended up like most of the vets. In a dive bar. So you're leaving us, honey. How'd you guess? Your eyes, you're already gone. I'm gonna miss you, old-timer. I'll miss you, too. Thanks. I can see, hear, and smell. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right you're quitting? Yeah. What's next? I gotta take care of my business. Sounds serious. Because of Hut? More serious. 
I gotta find a home for my son. Yeah, that's heavy. Good luck, Lou. Thanks. Boring. I barely remember Hut, Mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Hello, Mitch. You dropped five dollars. Oh. Thanks. You're a good boy. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. Oh, oh almost forgot. Got something for you. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. So cool. Thanks. Go find your mother. I want to talk about my pay. There you go. Me as well, because I want to talk to you too. Come into my office. Welcome to Hut's Kingdom, sweetheart. Right. About you owing me a hundred and fifty bucks, sweetheart. What are you talking about? That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my eighty-five bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra sixty-five to go with your eighty-five? Would you find the time? Maybe I could find some time, but for what? You know how lonely Mr. Hutt gets in here. Go back in the can with your girly mag. You're not getting a dime, you arrogant cunt. I know your type. Playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then? I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me a hundred and fifty dollars. I owe you nothing. Besides, you're flabby in more ways than one. That's where you're wrong if you want your two hundred and fifty. 250. 
Yeah, I told you we'd make a deal. Take a good look, honey. That's what a real man looks like. On the other hand, you're not too bad. I knew you'd like it. For starters, come over here, honey. I've got a better idea. Let's play Take the Sucker's Clothes. You slut! Ugh! What you doing, Lee? Cashing in my overtime. Mr. Hub will kill me for that. I need this dough. Here's a 10 spot to chill you out. You fucking bitch! I'll fuck you up! What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my joint! Hey, why? Is it just me, or is Fatso asking for it? Nah, Billy. It's not just you. Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. bad man and he's talking nonsense. But his karma just caught up with him. What's karma? I'll tell you later. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Alvin. Can I borrow it for a sec? Wait for me in the car, okay? I promise you, this will be the best month ever. to Grandpa Elijah this instant, Louise. You scared him half to death. Great. I hope he dies. No wonder Dad ran away from you. You'll never see me again. One day you'll beg me to take you back. Later, Mom told me coming back home was the stupidest idea she'd ever had. The house is so huge. What are we waiting for?
Hi, you must be Butch. And who are you? The police? Louise, I'm your auntie. I don't know you. Is your mom around? Mom! Some ants here! Louise? Kathy! I missed you guys so much! Sorry, Lou. My hands are messy. Sure. Sorry for dropping in on you like this. And who's that? My son, Mitch. It's time he met his family. Say hello to your auntie and your cousin. Hello, auntie. A cousin? You lie. Why? Because he's colored. What's the difference? You don't know? Gee whiz, Mom. Are they our family? Come on in. Passing through? No, I'd like to stay a while. Unfortunately, we've got guests already. I have no room for you. Kathy? Who's that? Some Louise, Granny. Louise. I knew you'd be back with your tail between your legs. Mitch, meet Granny. Hello, Granny. Where's your daddy? Did he leave you, poor child? It runs in the family. Um, Louise wants to stay with us. But it's not the best time, right? It couldn't have worked out better. But maybe we shouldn't decide until Grandpa's back from his walk? Suit yourself. What was your name again, kid? It's Mitch, Granny. Don't you Granny me. Just Margaret if you must. Understood? Can I say that too? Boys, uh, go and play outside. Just like old times, Mom making a pie with her daughters. You learned how to make a pie. No, but I can show you where the flour is. Can you do that? Your turn. My dad was in the Marines, and you know what he said about the blacks? Can't wait to hear it. He said the blacks are strong and dumb, but you're not even strong. Did he also tell you you look like a lard ass? Back off or I'll mess you up. But you can't throw either. Come on, your turn. Can you hit the same spot as me? We aim for the oil can. Piece of cake. I start. Lucky shot. Whoa! 
Butch, Mitch, where the hell are you? Don't tell her it was me. What's in it for me? I'll give you my dinner sandwich. I don't want your sandwich. So what you want? At dinner, you'll say that you love Black Brothers. Uh, how's that? Simple. You say, I love Black Brothers, loud and clear. Well, okay, I guess. Deal. Broke the window. What's going on? Come on, spill it. Butch did. Back to your room and not a peep until dinner. Grandpa will punish you when he gets back. Lou, can we talk? Louise, let Mitch take the blame. What? Are you nuts? You know how harsh Grams can get with kids. I'll figure out a way for you to stay with us for a while. No. Why should my son take the blame for yours? You don't understand. When Rick died, Butch became... I don't know. He misses his father terribly. It's not his fault. Please. No. Why should my son take the blame for yours? You haven't changed a bit. I hope Grandpa kicks you out before nightfall. Lou, can you help me with something upstairs? Don't let them use you. I saw everything through the window. What did you see? Butch throwing a rock through the window. We know. He confessed already. But Grandpa doesn't know. We'll tell him when he gets back. Perhaps. But Kathy will do anything to keep Butch out of this. But you can tell the truth. I don't know. I just want for us to get along. Mm-hmm. Go to your boy. He's playing in Butch's room. Auntie had a shrine to her husband there. He died in Vietnam and became the hero of the house. That house was terrifying. All they had were memories. This is a photo of grandfather's family, just after having arrived to the States from Poland. They turned more American than Americans. There was a rifle on the wall, always loaded in case some communist showed up at their doorstep. Mom told me that Auntie Kathy read fairy tales for her at night. Her mother had never done that. And neither did mine. Grandpa's almost here. 
Go upstairs and call the boys for dinner. Fine. Butch, mom's calling you. She took out a bag of chips. Hmm, that's not how I remembered that room. Mom, check out these awesome toys Butch has. I guess all he plays is war. Boys always play war. Right. And then you perish in war. Like Butch's dad? Yes. Like my dad? <laughs> no, sweetheart. Your dad went missing in action in peacetime. Will he ever be found? Butch has some cool posters, look. Do I have to listen to what your father wouldn't allow? We live in his house! That's exactly our problem! Sure, go on, get smashed so the whole world can see how low this family has fallen! I don't want them to argue. You shouldn't have lied about Father Judah! It wasn't a lie! One day, Daddy will leave us because of your lies, or Grandpa will kick him out. Why is Butch so nervous? It's just a window. You're right. But don't let them talk you into taking the blame. Come on, Mom. I'm not a knucklehead. Anyhow, how do you like it here? Do you want to stay longer? To you? Yes. I want to be where you are. Louise, Grandpa's back. Roll call time. Come on. Roll call? Yep. Come meet your great-grandfather. I could see how that house was changing her, and not for the better. It was far worse than the sickness which was eating her from inside. I was dreading what would happen if she decided to stay there, and I wanted to go away, but more attractions were still to come. of the toys. You practiced for two years and still can't stay in tune. That's when I understood why I should have taken the blame for breaking the window, and that we needed to get out of there. Grandpa, can Mitch play? L Louise? Mitch? That kid can play a beautiful... I can try. Maybe we should start dinner. No, no. Let him show what he's got. <laughs> can get any worse, can it?
Louise, you've grown. Is this gifted boy your son? Apologize to Father Judah for your lies this instant. But it's all true, Mommy. Do we really have to do it this way? If you can't take care of this, I will. No need. Kids make things up sometimes. And let us live in this truth for your glory. Amen. What was it you were trying to tell me earlier, Katie? Uh, the boys were playing and the window got broken. Broken by itself? I mean, Louise, perhaps you know which boy broke the window? It was Butch. Not quite, they both broke it. But it was Butch who threw the rock. This makes no sense, he's never done that before. Aren't you gonna say something, Mom? You saw the whole thing. I only heard Mitch say, throw it. <laughs> what a mad house. Just replace the glass, cause it's drafty. Let's see it, it's getting cold. Enjoy. This may not be the best time, Grandpa, but can we talk? No time like now. I'll get to the point then. Can my son and I stay here a while? Does he know how to read? His name is Mitch, and yes, he can read. Take the holy book. It's on the table. But I'm supposed to do the reading. Mitch is our guest, sweetheart. Now get on your stool so we can all see you. Grandpa? Quiet. Look, 1511. Be so kind and read it aloud, boy. Father, give me the share of the estate I have coming to me. Not many days later, the younger son gathered together all he had and traveled to a distant country where he squandered his estate in foolish living. After he had spent everything, a severe famine struck that country. Enough. Don't know what's that about, kid? About the prodigal son? about family being the most important thing. Sit. Louis, I'm happy you have found your way home. So am I. I was the only one who wasn't happy. Welcome back home, my little girl. Mom, can I have a black cousin? I'm not done yet. It was God's will for Lou to return to us, right, Lou? I guess so. It's also his will that we share this moment with our good family friend. The same who has been with us for 30 years. The same whom you wronged so terribly. What are you playing, Louise? House. Can I play with you? Mmm, yummy candy. Want some? No, because you already ate it, Father. When we're alone, you can call me Uncle Judd. There's more in my pocket, but I need your help. 
Can you help me get it out? Lois, apologize to Father Judah for your lie. Say you made it up and rejoin your family. Everybody expects me to apologize. I understand this is the condition for me to be part of this family. Better now than never, Lou. I apologize that as an eight-year-old, I didn't let you touch me. That I bit your finger when you put it under my dress. That I scratched your face when your hand... Louise! Mom, I'm sorry I told you about this. I thought you'd help me. Enough of this. Why, Grandpa? Now Father and I can go upstairs and do it like adults. Or I can call him Uncle Judd in a high voice if Father prefers. I apologize to you too, Grandpa Elijah. That the fear of you made me pee in my panties. And to you, Kathy, that you had to change my panties in secret. Dinner is over! Get me out of here, Judah. Sit down, I'm not done yet. Louise, put the weapon down. I'd like to hear your confession. You are frightening your own son. Mom! <laughs> the truth prevails, thank God. I'm sorry, Louise. Father Judah has touched me too, and did other things far worse. But I was afraid that if I told the truth, they would all hate me just like you. I am shocked, Judah. You knew about this. You all knew. You are crazy. I went crazy long ago. Now, confess, Uncle Judd. You still have candy in your pocket, don't you? Mom? Was it wrong for me to take candy from Uncle Judd? You gave candy to my little boy? Give it to me. <laughs> Kathy, let go. I'll take that. Let's go, Mitch. The visit is over. Quick! Louise! I didn't have the opportunity earlier, so now it's probably our last chance. Dad's been looking for you. What? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything before. He left his address. Find him. I've never had the guts. Take care of yourself, Kathy. Drive fast. We'll say it was you who killed him. I didn't see the priest getting hit by the bullet. Just some blood on the floor. After that, we drove in silence for a long time. Perhaps the middle of a forest is not the safest place to spend the night, but at least it was quiet and nobody around. I'm sorry, kid. I don't know how to explain all this to you. All I wanted for you was to get to know your family and that was the stupidest thing I could have done. It wasn't supposed to end like this. Did that priest ever hurt you? Yes, he did. Mom stopped talking, and I was afraid to ask. It's good we didn't stay there. We'll manage, you and me. What kind of place is this? You like it here? 
I guess so. I used to come here when I couldn't stand home anymore. It was my asylum. What's asylum? A place where you can hide from the whole world. Are fish here? Used to be. Go, find out for yourself. Okay, I'll look for bait worms. There's a shovel in the car. I'll find some firewood. They'll do. Night crawlers. Maybe I'll catch a bigger fish. That's a fat one. If there are fish here, they'll go for this one. I'm going fishing, Mom! Fine, I'll be right there. Let's see if there's any fish in here. Who taught you how to fish? Alvin. Alvin? The old man from my diner? Yeah, sometimes we'd go fishing when you were working. I wonder what else you learned when I was working. Many things. When I was your age, my dad, your grandfather, would take me here. He promised to teach me how to fish, but one day he just didn't come home from work. Just didn't come home? Just like that. He was gone and I never saw him again. That wasn't exactly true. Mom saw my grandfather once more, but at a time she really didn't want to see him. Look, the fish are close to the bait. We'll catch one soon. Got it! Oh, she's feisty. I'll manage. Just need to pull her closer to us. Let's catch another. I can teach you. You want me to? Let's try. You gotta wait patiently until the fish is interested in the bait. When you feel the bite, you gotta strike. Then you start reeling her in. Try it. I wasn't thinking about it then. But this was the first time we did something together and had great fun. I didn't know that it was going to be our last time. I was happy and I thought that this was truly the best month of our lives. I had no clue that mom was just warming up. Look, something's moving. She's huge. Wait until she takes the bait. Strike. I got it! I got it! Easy now. Just reel her in. She's so huge! Dinner time. Can we roast them over the fire? Sure, kid, but we need to gut them first. Did you do that with Alvin? We always let them go alive. Okay, I'll do it. 
You start the fire. I didn't know a campfire fish tastes so good. We make a good team. We could open a fried fish joint. You would fish, and I would fry them and serve the customers. What would we call this place? Uh, Campfire Fish. Oh, Mom. Why not? Simple and clear. Got a better one, champ? I do. Mitch and Louise's. Damn. I like it. I've been waiting for you to grow up to tell you some things. But I'm almost grown up. Almost. Sometimes I think it's me who should grow up. You're still young. You've got time for that. What's that? Fireflies. Never seen them before? They're everywhere. You want to be a grown up, but you don't know about fireflies. Well, you didn't know how to fish. In that case, let's play a game I used to always beat your grandpa in. Whoever catches the most fireflies into a jar wins. Yet, Mom. I only caught a few. Ha ha, I won. I got so many more than you. The students are past the master. I just remembered a childhood mystery. As a girl, I wrote a letter and put it in a coffee can. And I hid it in a tree hollow over by those rocks. Really? Is it still there? No idea. But we could find out if you'd like. Sure, let's go. Mom, why does Great Grandpa hate me so much? What? Wait. Why are you thinking about that now? No reason. He hates everybody, especially himself. Don't worry about him, okay? We're done with that place. Mom, how will we find that tree? I carved the letter L on it. An adventure! Yay! There's nothing here. I don't see anything either. Nothing here either. I'm sure I marked that tree. It was a long time ago, Mom. And trees keep growing. be the tree. Look up there. I got it. I wonder what's in the letter. I don't even remember. Let's get back to the fire.
Dear Dad, I miss you so much and I'd like to be with you. Mom says that I'm a liar and that you left because of me. I didn't lie. Grandpa and Mom are very mad at me. I don't like them either. Please come and take me away. If I knew where you were, I would run away to be with you. I love you very much. P.S. I don't know where you are now, so I can't send you this letter. I'll put it in a secret place, and when I know your address, I will send it to you. Your little Lou. Did you try to find Grandpa? No. I was dreaming that he would come back for me one day. But he didn't come. When I was 17, I ran away on my own. By then, I was already angry with him for leaving me with them. Where's my dad? I don't know where he is now, but a while ago, we would have probably found him in some bar. He was a vet, like Alvin? <laughs> no, but he played the trumpet beautifully. Is that why you bought me a trumpet? You wanted me to be like him? Yes. I'm going to show you something now. When I was little, on starry nights, we would lie down with your grandpa by the fire and connect the stars into our own constellations. Want to try? Mm-hmm. In this game, you have to find a new constellation. I start. I see a bird. Where? Yes, that's a bird. I see it now. My turn. I'll start with that star. It's a heart. Nice. Now my turn. It's lightning. You got it. Mom, your dad was cool. How was mine? He was cool too. What do we do now? Now we go to sleep. And tomorrow morning we'll pay my good friend a visit. That evening, by the fire, I began to understand what it means to be a grown-up. We were like two people who've been deprived of something in childhood. Right then, I understood that the void I felt was about missing my father. But how can you miss someone you don't know? You still here, Lou? I've never heard Mom talk about any friends, but this one was supposed to loan us gas money. Honey, I get it, but Black Daisy won't be able to dance with a broken leg. Are we doing a refund? No, we're planning a little... surprise. We open in two hours. Kiki around? Uh-huh. Check in the back. Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. Your friend is a cleaner around here? Worse. He's the boss.
Why is this lady naked? Nobody would look at this poster if she were dressed. I know, I know, I get it, but you're also an actress. Now, a 15-minute gig is not a whole day. Oh, well, that's the going rate, right, sweetie. No, we can't accept the panties, but... I know, honey, but it's just a dance. Hello? Hello? Fuck! For that kind of money, I could get Liz Taylor's tits. Hi, Kiki. Jeez, what's next? You got some nerve to show your face around here after all these years. I'm sorry, Kiki. I really am. In case you don't know, I almost went bust because of you. And you stole my best musician. I didn't steal anybody. Frank could have been somebody with me. He was already somebody without you. He was. So why did you come here anyway? I need help from my old friend. Get the fuck out, Lou. Friends don't disappear for ten years without a word. <laughs> what? Fuck Yvonne, we can't refund the tickets because we're out of dough. How many bastards pulled out? How many? Then lie that we've got someone better. We are fucked. Short on rebel teen chicks dancing for room and board? Those days are over. I'd love to reminisce, Lou, but I've got other problems. Kiki. I can dance. Get lost, Lou. You're pissing me off. It's simple. You need a dancer, I need the dough. You've aged, Lou. Fuck you, Kiki. I still got the technique. People want to see tits, not technique. I still have two left. Are you in or out? The usual terms. The gate for me, tips for you. Plus 10% from the bar. Five. Seven and a half. Stubborn cunt. Deal. Just don't make me fucking regret this. We've got a girl, Yvonne. I don't know, but we won't get another. Put this on the bill. The big comeback of Little Lou. Find some clothes in the dressing room. Hey, kid. You look just like your old man. You know that? Your friend is strange. He's a good man. He did help me once, but I let him down. What's up, Lou? You on? I can't, Frank. Is it about that guy talking to Kiki? The one with the smoke? Yes. Is he following you? Does he bother you? No. So who is he? Frank, let's get out of here, now. What about the show? Kiki put up a lot of dough, he'll kill us. I'm gonna drop everything just because you saw a ghost. Who is that? My father. Can you give me a hand? With what? What to put on?
Maybe different colored feathers. Mom, do I really look like Dad? Kiki has a good eye for these things. What happened to him? I don't know. We split up before you were born. Am I done? Maybe a different corset. Why did you split up? Why can't we talk about this? Because I'm going on stage now. First time in 10 years and I'm clueless. Am I done? Hmm, I'll change my gloves. Why didn't you ever talk about Dad? You never asked. I did ask, but you always cried afterwards. I don't like it when you cry. Am I done? What do you think? You look like the naked ladies from the posters. Are you sure? Let's call Kiki. But mom, you look like the naked ladies. Okay, as good as it gets. Yes? I'm ready, Kiki. I'm coming. Can I go with you? No, it's not for you. Are you gonna take your clothes off? Yes. I don't want you to get undressed. It's no big deal. I'll get it over with and then we'll have a cool vacation. Well, well, well. Let me see you. I want to see little Lou. Mm-hmm. What do you think, kiddo? Is your mother sexy? Don't ask him that, Kiki. Well, I think little Lou is still hot. Looks like we're gonna have a show after all. Wait for me here, Mitch. I'll be back soon. Of course I didn't intend to wait in the dressing room, but I really wanted Mom just to dance without undressing. I didn't realize it then, but that's where I saw my father for the first time. There was also a zebra in there, presumably alive once. It was at Kiki's where I saw so many people naked for the first time. Sonny, your mom told you to stay in the dressing room. Okay, big man, I'm going. I hope so. And don't fool around. I'm here all the time. I had to find a key to this door to bypass Kiki's bouncer. I told you already. Scram!
Ladies and gentlemen, Madame de Monsieur, presenting Little Moon. Are you alive? Uh, it's okay. I didn't want to, Kiki. Stop it. We've got about 50 bucks in tips. But Kiki will kick in a small gift. It's for Mitch. I won't forget this. You saved my ass today, after all. In two weeks, this joint is going under the hammer anyways. You guys can stay here till then. I don't have that much time, sadly. Something wrong with you? <sighs> Nothing serious. I'm thinking just the opposite, sweetheart. Think what you want. That day when I ran off with Frank. Sure you want to bring this up now? You were talking by the bar with my father. I had a feeling. He came back a few more times, but I got rid of him. Just another daddy who suddenly remembered his little girl. I'd like him to take care of Mitch. What about Frank? Does he know about the kid? No. It's your choice, girl. Thanks, Kiki, for everything. We'll be gone by morning. Yeah, I know. At least this time you're not skipping town without a word. Good night, Lou. Good night, Kiki. They spoke softly. They thought I was asleep. I'm not sure if mom just wanted to make up for that strange rest stop at Kiki's the day before, or if she just wanted me to stop asking about dad for a while. Whatever it was, she succeeded. Okay, let's go. Don't go over 60. This is great! You're doing well, honey. Thanks, Mom! Great! You drive like a pro. You can speed up a little. Just watch out for the other cars. Okay, Mom. Driving's fun.
Okay, take it easy now. Speed up and pass this car. Beautiful. Mom, where are we driving to now? I want to find my father. Okay, now try to pass that truck. You did great. Ugh, running out of gas. What? I can't find my wallet. Maybe it's in the trunk. Did you find it? Mother No, I can't find it. So, how can we get some gas now? That's what you get for putting out for n always brings trouble. Wait in the car, Mitch. But mom... You got a problem, man? You talking to me, slut? I told you there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> Give it back, Mitch. Whoa, 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 what's going on? You better drop that gun. Or Joe's gonna hurt you real bad. Joe, put the gun on the ground. And do it nice and easy. Don't listen to that whore, Joe. You're really gonna earn your blown out balls. She looks desperate. Better do as she tells you. I think you've only got one choice, Joe. Put the gun down, Joe. And nobody gets hurt. What's it gonna be, Joe? Okay, okay, take it easy. Everybody hands up and on your knees. Could have shown some balls, Joe. Or you're just a cunt. You're asking for it. Mom, no! Good choice. Nobody gets up until I'm gone. Right then, I learned a yin and yang principle from my mother. Sometimes you need to be tough, and sometimes you need to chill the fuck out. I didn't understand it then, but I would have done the same thing today. My mother did all of that for me out of desperation. Let's get off the main road, Mom. They could be following us. Where do you get this stuff? From movies. What's wrong with the car? I don't know. I think we lost them. Oh, my hands are still shaking. That was intense, Mom. Don't let anybody push you around, ever. 
What do we do if the cops want to stop us? It's best not to mess with the cops. We're gonna pull over and do exactly as they say, okay? What if they're not nice? Better get used to it. You're bound to run into a nasty cop in your future. Let's see what happened here. Ah, it's hot. Let's see if you can find something in the trunk to open the hood with. And put a hat on. The sun is terrible. Teach me? You didn't need my help at the gas station. But, okay. I'll show you how to handle a gun responsibly. This rifle is called Winch... Winchester 1886. How do you... It's in all the Westerns. Even the Indians have them. How about the Blacks? Uh, I've never seen a Western with Black people. So why did you say even the Indians? Are the Indians inferior? Well, no. But they had bows and arrows first. When you stop dividing people into Indians or Blacks, the world becomes more pleasant. Okay. This is where you open it. This is how you take aim and bang. You got it? That's easy. Now aim at some bush. Give me the gun, someone's coming. Keep quiet, Mitch. We don't know who that is. Okay, Mom. Overheated? Uh, no comprende. No, no, no speak a... Uh, I okay. Hmm. You shouldn't start it for a while. Uh, si, senora. G gracias. Running from someone? Why do you ask? An overheated car in the middle of a desert? Windshield shot through? Worst attempt at Spanish I've ever heard. Did you see a horse run by here? A horse? Mitch! Name's Wheat. He's white with black spots. We haven't seen any horse. He's always running away from my uncle. Sure you don't want any help? The wind is picking up. Can you give us a tow? Sure. Just need to get a tow line for my uncle. Man, that guy was pushy. Why? Maybe he really wanted to help. It's true the wind is picking up. You're not feeling well, Mom? I'm just a little dizzy, that's all. Can I look around? Just don't go very far. It's you they're looking for. We. Good horsey. Will you give me a ride?
I'll climb this wrecked car and jump right on top of you, Wee. Just when I thought the wind blew you away. Let's tow your car. Looks like we've got no choice. Come back, Mitch! He wasn't supposed to go far. He won't hear us in this wind. Let's go find him. Now, don't move. A snake. Please help me. Take him to a doctor. The hospital is too far. We'll have to go to my uncle's now. The boy got bitten by a snake. Can you help my little boy? Put him in the Hogan, Timmy. Start the fire, quick. What kind of snake was it? I only caught a glimpse of it. The death spirit never leaves empty-handed. The boy's spirit needs you. Beware of the spirits. Don't follow their glow. If you're lost, the fire will show you the way. Finished affairs there. I don't see any fire. Seek deep. Mitch. Mom. 
What do I do to keep Mitch alive? What will happen to Mitch after I die? Run away! Quick! That boy is tough. You don't know how grateful I am. Your uncle... My uncle bought you some time. He asked me to tell you that the spirits of your ancestors are calling your son, but their faces are still hollow for him. Only you can flush them out, Louise. Thanks for everything, Timmy. They fixed your car, but it won't hold up much longer. It only needs to hold up a little longer. This time, stick to the main roads. Here's a map. We started in Northern California. That's quite a ways. We're just around here. You can stay here for a while. Thanks, Timmy. We'll make it. We've got to go. And so we went. I liked Timmy and wanted to stay there, but Mom said we would meet other interesting people on the road. I didn't realize how wrong she was, but back then, I felt like she'd gotten a boost of new energy. I could see she was feeling better. What's in the town of Hope? Not what, but who. You'll meet your grandfather, Leon. Your dad? The one who was going to teach you how to fish? Yes. Luckily it was you who taught me that. How can a dad leave his own child? It's beyond complicated. He doesn't love him? Sometimes he doesn't love the other people around him. And sometimes there's no way out. You can always try to find a way out. God damn it, the police! It's because of the gas station. I'll deal with that. What the hell are you doing? Put the gun away, now! I said we don't mess with the police. So why don't you pull over? Don't shoot at the cops. Shoot the tires out. The tires are smaller. and get down! But they stopped chasing us! A tornado! Hang on!
Is this hope? If we're going to continue this trip, you've got to listen to me. Why did you shoot? I was so scared. I didn't want them to get us, Mom, because you're sick. What? I heard you when you were talking to Kiki. It's nothing serious. What's wrong with you, Mom? Nothing that can't be cured. Let's look for Grandpa. Look out for a yellow house, or whatever's left of it. I hope Grandpa's okay. So do I. Over there! There's the yellow house! Yes, this must be it. Damn bone, damn bone, damn. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, and I hear word of the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me, ma'am, is this 501 Roosevelt Street? I'm looking for Leon Connor. Good man. You know him? Used to be my son's friend. Only white friend in this town. You said used to be? He left a few years ago. Do you know where he went? Said something about a gator farm in the swamp. Was he a drunk or a junkie? Not really. Sometimes we'd have us a cup of moonshine is all. Said he was going to make boots out of them gators. <laughs> so, he was a junkie. M my son, he know more about that. But, uh... Yes? He gone for a walk a few days ago and didn't come back yet. Many brothers have disappeared lately. Mm. But the good Lord sees it all. And today, he sent his wrath down on the white man. Looks like you got hit too. Mm-mm. Damn bones, damn bones, damn dry bones. Ear word of Lord. Lady, please, can you help me? What happened? Can't find my daughter. I'm begging you, help me. She's gone. I can't find her. Have you seen my grandma, an older lady? Calm down. Where are your parents? I only have my grandma. I found her glasses. She's blind without them. Please, help me. What is your name, ma'am? Doris. Listen, Doris. We're going to find this boy's granny first, then we'll look for your daughter, okay? Okay? She's just a kid. A little girl, she can't be alone. I'll help Doris. I'm sorry, Pat, but my daughter has a whole life ahead of her. Get back in the car, Mitch. Mom, we have to help. Just look around. Fine. Let's check out the area and meet up back here in a while. By the yellow house. Whenever Mom sensed that I was right, she always lacked consistency. Every single time. My granny wore a red skirt. Okay, follow me. A 
rag. A woman's shoe. Teddy bear. Oh, God. Ma'am, can you hear me, ma'am? Oh, thank God. I'm calling an ambulance. Where's Pat? to me. It's very important to take my purse. There's some money. Enough for a trip. Granny, we have to take you to a doctor. Hush, hush. The corner of Molden and Webster, San Francisco. A man named George lives there. He'll help you. Granny, no. Granny. Darling, I'll always be with you. Always. Granny, no! Mitch! Have you seen my son? Leon kept mentioning Black Morass. Excuse me? Said something about Black Morass in Louisiana. Is that where he went? He talked about you all the time, honey. Mitch, are you okay? That little girl, she's dead. It happens, Mitch. It's so unfair when a child dies. Someone young. Aren't you young? I guess I'm young, but I'm not planning to die just yet. But what if it happens? Mitch, we can always put up an honest fight, can't we? Do you think that lady who cried when she saw her child will put up a fight? I don't know. Hmm. How's Pat's granny? We found her, but it was too late. We need to get going, Mitch. We've got a long way to Louisiana. I guess she meant something else when she said we'd have the best vacation ever. Still, the vacation was life-changing. At least it was for me. That's when my mother said, every deed, good or bad, has consequences. That's what karma is. She was right, of course. But after leaving that town, I felt like my deeds had no effect on anything. Mom! 
I'll take care of them. Everything all right, little guy? What are you doing here? We've been driving for a long time and just needed to rest. Fine. Just don't stay too long. It's getting dark. How are you feeling, Mom? Much better, sweetheart. I'll check the car, and you try to get it started. Damn, it's gonna be hard to get out of here. Okay, Mitch, turn it on. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom? Yes, don't worry. Mom! <laughs> uh, it's all good, Mitch. <clears throat> Can you help us? What happened? It won't start up. Where's your dad? Not around. Will you help us, sir? My auto shop's pretty close. I'll give you all a tow. You got lucky, didn't we? We'll see about that. I'm Louise. This is my son, Mitch. Thomas. Thanks again. You'll thank me later. How long will the repair take? Hard, hard to say. Brought gas. Welcome. Their car is broken. I'm going to take care of it now. Good evening. We don't want to bother you. Don't be silly. We love company, but we rarely have gas. What's your name, darling? Louise. This is my son, Mitch. I'm so glad Thomas has picked you up. My son is a good boy. That's so true. He stopped to help us. Where are you headed? Pretty far. To Louisiana. Oh, that's quite a ways. Hard to do without a car. What's waiting for you there? My father. Hmm. And where's your father, little boy? I don't know. Very well. Do come inside. I baked some cookies. These are my granddaughters. Hi, what's your name? Mitch. I am Ada. Ida. Oda. Wanna play with us? Good idea, Ada. Go play together. Oh, children. Their mother left when they were little. For no reason? Just like that? Just like that. One morning, she just packed up and went. I'm raising them with my son now, but he knows cars better than children. He's always been in a world of his own, but he's a good boy. Yes, you've already said that. 
I'm not sure how much time our good Lord has left for me, but it won't be forever. The girls need a mother, someone to shelter them from the world and, and push them to do their chores. Major problem. Can't do much without light. We are without power. A tornado blew all the power lines down. You'll sleep in our guest room. In the morning, I'll see what I can do. We don't want to impose. Oh, stop it, darling. We love guests. Besides, you don't have a choice, do you? I'll lock up the shop now. You never know who's lurking around on a night like this. A night like what? Doc, let's go to your room. I'll show you around. Thank you. You're very kind. Oh, don't mention it. You want to play hide-and-seek with us? In the dark? You scared? I don't like the dark. If you win, it will get bright. Each of us will hide in a different room. You have to find us one by one, say the name, and light a candle if you get it right. Close your eyes and count to ten. One... Two, three, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha. Not so fast, you still have to say my name. Your name is Ada. Good. Gotcha. What happened? I've heard him. What? Who? From the cellar. You're putting me on, right? <laughs> it's okay. Nothing's happening, all right? Give me your hand and we'll go. We can't come out until you guess our names. Those are the rules. Otherwise, we'll be punished. Hey, it's just a game, but okay. Your name must be Oda. Yes, you remember it. You can light my candle now. Keep your mouth shut. You don't want me to punish you. Do you? There you are. You found me, but now you have to say my name. Okay, sure. Your name is... Ida. Your name is Ida. Yes. You can light my candle now. You made it. Tomorrow, we'll play another game. Tomorrow, I'm leaving. You never know. Who lives behind this door? Nobody. I saw your dad coming out from behind this door and talking to somebody. Should we tell him? A ghost lives in the cellar. A ghost? Are you sure it's not a monster? 
I knew we wouldn't believe. Nobody's allowed in there. Your dad was there. Dad is allowed. The ghost tells him to bring things. In return, he won't harm us and our grandma. But sometimes, at night... You can hear terrible sounds in the cellar. Dinner time, kids! You know, sonny boy, your mom and I have bonded. I feel it. Don't you, honey? Yes, of course. You remind me of someone, but you're much prettier. Isn't she pretty, Thomas? Ah, Tom. George. Max Hunter's farm, 11 o'clock. We've got a job to do. I'll be there. One more thing. Would you happen to have seen a blue Cadillac around? They say it was parked by the road earlier. No, didn't see it. Okay, see you later. We're gonna have some fun. Darling, if you were single, my Tom would have been a perfect match for you, right? Mom, can you please shut up? By the way, why aren't you wearing your wedding ring? This turkey is very good. Did you hear that? Is that the ghost? A ghost? Well, you're too old for ghost stories. I heard you have to bring him all kinds of stuff. Yeah, traps for the damned rats. And once, a rattlesnake bit our dog. What happened to him? He'd died. The rattlesnake or the dog? The dog died. The snake went away, Mitch. And you, snotty girls, I'm going to punish you for scaring our guests. They didn't do anything. Uh, how do you make this turkey? I'll teach you, honey. It's a family recipe. Uh, thank you for this lovely dinner. You're welcome. We love having guests. We're going to bed. I can barely stand up. Mom is ill. Ill with what, honey? Nothing serious. Just a cold. Hmm. Breakfast at seven. Thanks again for everything. Good night. Mom, this place is kind of strange. What's on your mind? When he was walking out of the cellar, I heard Mr. Thomas threaten someone with punishment if they don't keep quiet. And later, the sisters told me about a ghost who lives there. And then at dinner, we heard noises under the floor. Something evil is happening here, Mom. Maybe we're just imagining things. But my intuition tells me something is not quite right. How do you know? Shh. Quiet in there. I gotta check this out or I won't be able to sleep. I'm coming with you. No, Mitch. Stay here and don't come out no matter what. Lock the door. When I knock three times, you can let me back in. Mom, I'm afraid of this ghost. I don't want to be alone. Sweetheart, ghosts are only invented by people who have something to hide. And we are only scared because we don't know what they are hiding. That's why I'm going to check it out. You be brave now and wait for me here, okay? Okay. You're a smart boy. 
The cellar door is locked. I'll look for the key. Some old suitcase, but no keys here. Just spoons, knives, and forks. Quite dirty. Oh, these must be the keys. You're about to join them, you nosy cunt. Mitch, go find a piece of rope to tie him with. I just hope this rope will hold him. This must be the cellar key. Are we going in there? No, Mitch, I'm going. You go back to the room and this time you stay there. You haven't learned anything. Apparently you learned things that scare me. And I taught you all of that. What's wrong with that? Mitch, please. Okay, Mom. I'll stay. Thomas and his friends. There you are, you bastard. I don't know this dude, but to complete a perfect family picture, all we need is dear Granny. Hello? Who are you? Oh my god! What's going on? Careful! He's coming back! You must run away! When he finds out... Easy. He won't hurt you now. Let us go. Please. How long has he kept you here? Uh, I don't know. A few years? And those little girls? They are our daughters. We could only hear them playing above our heads. Is their father? He kidnapped me. 
when I was jogging by the highway. He entered our home, hit my dad with a hammer. Is, is my dad alive? I had a date with him at a bar and woke up in this cage. Why didn't anybody try to find us? <clears throat> What's wrong with you? I'm okay now. Let's go upstairs. He'll kill us. No, he won't be up for a while. What do we do with him? Don't untie him no matter what. Call the police. They are his buddies. Even his buddies won't ignore it. But if you're scared, call your local newspaper. You bitch! I had no choice. Still alive. We'll take care of that. I'll be going now. Do you happen to know Max Hunter's farm? We're bailing out. Who was in the cellar? I'll tell you on the road. What do you need Mr. Thomas's costume for? Now we'll play the ghost. Should we make things right before Louisiana? Yes, Mom. Let's make things right. So I did teach you something after all. Mom was awesome. I see that now. But on the other hand, I'd have to think twice before putting my child in danger. This time you're not getting out of the car. Swear, Mitch. You swear first that nothing will happen to you. I swear. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. Finally, Thomas. You took your fucking time. Put that gun down, Thomas, or you're gonna shoot that n***er before we hang him. On your knees. Thomas is gone. Get down on your knees in two seconds or you'll meet his fate. Was a brave one. He might be alive. Want to help him? Take your hood off. You know him? Yeah, he's our sheriff. Oh, I'm not surprised. I saw his pictures. Cuff him. You're making a big mistake. You made a mistake when you took off your hood for all those lynching party photos. Take his gun away. I've got your pictures and others have them too. Death penalty in each of them. We've established who you are, but do you know who I am? No. What do you think a white girl like me can do to you now? You're pointing a gun at me, so I assume it's not about sex. Sex with a pig is out of the question. <laughs> You'll never forget it if you try. I'll never forget watching you die. 
But I'm not alone this time. What should I do with him? Honestly, I, I just want to go home to my family. You should go back, but they'll still come after you. S so we should kill him? I suggest you put the sheriff in the trunk and drive to the nearest big city. Then find a black police officer and hand this bastard over with the pictures. W what if they destroy the pictures? They will cover this up. I've got extra prints and negatives. Tell them it will all come out one way or another. Why can't you take him there, ma'am? I'm going in the other direction. I have to find Black Morass in Louisiana. Black Morass? Yeah. Have you been there? No, I'm afraid not. But I have a good friend who lives there on an alligator farm. Was his name Leon? Good Lord, Leon, of course. So, Louise? Leon spoke of you many times. Your mother said the same thing. I met her in hope. How unsearchable are his judgments and how fathomless his ways. Your father had so much to tell you. He, he was grief-stricken that he ran out of time. What do you mean, he ran out of time? Find him and ask for yourself. I'll do that. I leave the sheriff in your charge, but don't do anything silly. He's going to promise you mountains of gold. Thanks, Louise. Later, we read in the paper that a killer kidnapped the sheriff. But the sheriff broke loose and killed him. But they didn't follow us. Did you get him, Mom? I'm not sure. I could have helped you with the Winchester. Once you shoot a person, you'll want to do it again. So what? So you'll kill an innocent person and you'll never forget it. Or someone will kill you. Then why did you shoot? So nobody kills you. Are we going to see Grandpa? Yes. Is Grandpa cool? He used to be very cool, but then he left his kids without a word. And my dad left us without a word, too? No. Can you be quiet for a while, Mitch? <laughs> for the next few hours, we drove in silence. Suddenly, my mother looked at me and said, the most important thing in life are your principles. Fuck. And I thought we lived in a shithole. Looks like that's the only way. Let's go. Let's see what's out there. I've got a bad feeling about this. We didn't come all the way just to turn back. Okay, get in the car. Looks like Grandpa doesn't like company. Haha, ha, maybe it's not that bad. Shit! Jump out of the car, bitch! Mom! Mitch! Where are you? Here! Help me! I can't swim! Hang on, Mom. I'll think of something. Thank you. 
You okay? Considering we just lost everything we've got? Sure, Mitch. It's all good. So what's next? Now, we're gonna hoof it. Too bad Grandpa doesn't know we're coming. He would come out and get us, right? I hope so. Are you mad at me? I'm mad at myself. I knew I shouldn't have taken that damn bridge. A road sign! We're on the right track! Who would live in this place? Your grandfather would. Maybe he's not all there. Nobody in our family is all there. You okay, Mom? <clears throat> Just a bit tired, that's all. Let's go before the mosquitoes eat us. Let's walk over the top. Are you afraid to see Grandpa? Nothing to be afraid of. Are you afraid, sweetheart? I don't think so. But why does he live in this swamp? What is he running away from? From me. From you? From what he's done to me and to himself. Mitch, what if you had to live here? Never. What if Grandpa turns out all right? Then we go home, right? No. You want to stay here? How long? Mitch, I'm very ill. So you need to rest. Is that why we're going to Grandpa's? We don't have much time. We have to find Grandpa. At least I hope Grandpa knows how to fish. Don't cry. I'm happy we're here. This is the best vacation ever, just like you said. Seriously. I love you, sweetheart. I'll find the way. You just rest now. Okay. Just be careful. We both knew this wasn't going to end well, and we were both hoping for something that would give this story a happy ending. I'll help you! Grab my hand! Uh. Uh. Are you nuts? What were you doing down there? Please shoot him, ma'am. She's a mother protecting her young. You stepped into her nest so she wanted to eat you. Was she right or wasn't she? If she ate me, that wouldn't be right. What are you doing here, kid? My mom needs help. We were going to Black Morass and she got weak. Going to Black Morass on foot? You're either stupid or desperate. Had that monster eaten me, mom would have looked for me. And if she found whatever was left of me, she would have probably died. Relax, kid. 
kid. We're almost there. Come on, kid. Help me carry her home. Higher. Feeling better? Much better. Thank you again, ma'am. You should thank your son. What would I do without you, Mitch? You must have slept for 12 hours. Is it really true that you're looking for your old man to give him hell? What? What did you tell her, Mitch? That you're looking for a father who'd left you and that you're very sick. Mitch! I'll go get some more meat. The kid is no dummy. Thank you, but I think I know my own son. But does he know you? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Are you a shrink? I just raise alligators. And I'm just looking for my father. I'm sorry. You're right. It's none of my business. I'm looking for my father, but not to give him hell. You won't find him here. I know he settled in Black Morass. Black Morass was flooded two years ago. Everybody moved away. Did you know those people? No. I built the farm after all that happened. Mm. Feeling sick again? Come on, let's go inside. He ran away from us when I was eight. Just disappeared. Do you hate him? Or need him? Honestly, both. You couldn't have made it this far on pure hate. What about you? All by yourself? I had a guy. I met him after he got out from a ten-year stretch. What did he do? Attempted murder. When he got out, he went after that same motherfucker again. Your guy sounds like a real psycho, to be honest. That motherfucker was making moves on his daughter. She wasn't even eight. What was your man's name? Leon. Leon Connor. I should have guessed earlier. I've got something for you. When he couldn't find you, I made him write you a letter, but he didn't know where to send it. I can't do it, Mitch. You read it. Louise, my little girl, after all these years, I still can't find you. I understand why you're avoiding me. Perhaps you even hate me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I allowed all these lies and that I couldn't protect you. Instead of looking for the bad guy, I should have just stayed with you. I'll never stop looking for you. And I know we shall meet in the end. Maybe it's time for you to come clean with your son. Mitch, wait! Mitch? Why isn't my dad with us now? Maybe one day you'll meet your dad. When? Why do you say things that you know aren't true? You've never met yours, and I'll never meet mine. Can't you just tell me what happened? I'll tell you one day. So we keep playing this game that I'm stupid and I don't understand anything. Little kids are not supposed to know, right? You don't tell them everything. I'm not a kid anymore, Mom. Thanks to you. What do you mean? 
I mean that in the last few days, I've seen enough to stop being a kid. I'm sorry for that, Mitch. I always want to be with you, Mom, but I don't know why we came here, and you don't know what you're doing. That's not fair, Mitch. Is anything I just said a lie? I think it's time for bed, Mitch. Good night. Sweet dreams, kid. Come and join me on the porch. So his father doesn't even know about him, huh? Will you take care of him? He likes you. I'm not going anywhere now. No. The boy has a father. Yeah. A selfish bastard. Talking about what happened eight years ago is nonsense. Who's selfish now? Easy for you to say. You're not dying. Maybe you will die, but the kid and his father will keep on living. <laughs> if you don't make it, I promise I'll take care of the boy, I swear. <sighs> Apple Hill. From New Orleans, take I-55 North to Campwood. Then turn left onto a gravel road. After a few miles, go right. Campwood? That's less than 100 miles from here. I don't want him to suffer in case something goes wrong. I'll take you to New Orleans in the morning. My friend will take it from there. Thank you. I'm glad my dad finally met the right woman. Well, he wasn't too picky after 10 years in the joint. Leon always talked about a little girl who had so much strength, enough to defy the whole family. He always admired you for it. If I had to choose a grandma right then, I would have chosen Barbara, even if I had to live in those boondocks. After we said our goodbyes, Mom told me, if we don't make it, Mitch, you'll go back to her. I was ready for it, because I knew we wouldn't make it. Go ahead, look for it. Stop being silly, Frank. I have something important to tell you. Look for it. Ta-da! Champagne? What's the occasion? Keep looking. A ticket for New York? For tomorrow? I heard back from Atlantic. They want me to start recording in the studio the day after tomorrow. That's fab. That fast? I know. It's a reward for our infinite patience. Will you join me after the session? You want to stay in New York? Don't you? <sighs> Frank. Yeah? You want to have kids? What? You heard me. Are you pregnant? Would you like me to be? And just when the biggest label on the East Coast wants to sign me. Albums, concerts, what do you want me to say? A simple question. Do you want kids or not? So are you pregnant or not? Yes. Aren't you happy? Well, yeah. Very much. Just kidding. I'm not pregnant. What? Jesus, are you, are you serious? You scared me. Um, yeah, I noticed. Louise, of course I want to have kids with you, but it's not the best time, okay? When the right time comes, you let me know, will ya? Hey, don't be mad. 
Our lives are just beginning. My life had just begun a few weeks earlier. I'm not sure if that made anybody else happy, but I sure was. Mom, do you hear me? Hmm? I can't believe I'm gonna meet my dad. It feels strange. To be honest, I thought we could have avoided this. I'm a bit scared. Oh, come on. He's just a black, middle-aged man that you don't know yet. What if he doesn't like me? Don't worry. He won't have a choice. Best vacation I ever had! I really meant it back then. And to be honest, I still do. I thought my dad was a musician, not a farmer. Wait for me here. Good morning! Hello! Lester! Are you in there? The plants have been watered, so someone must live here. Hands off my plants and get out! Good morning, Lester. Which part of get out don't you understand? I'm looking for Frank. Yeah, sickle. Come here, Plato. You're still alive, old boy. Come on. Useless piece of shit. I see you still love animals and people. Tell me where Frank is and I'll be gone. Frank don't want to see you. Are you still in touch with him? And who are you? I'm Mitch. Good morning. Your grandson. You left him when he needed you most. Suddenly you're back thinking I'll let you ruin his life again? Get out! I left him so he could live his own life. So what do you want from him now? Child support? I've been writing to him every month. That's more than a hundred letters, Lester. He never wrote back. Now I know I had the wrong address. Enough of this bullshit. His place was always here, on the farm. Where is he, Lester? Died in Vietnam. Happy now? You're lying. He got his ass kicked somewhere in Alabama. Lester! No, he met a leech just like you and overdosed. Either way for you, he don't exist. I beg you, Lester. It's very important. Please. Let's get out of here, Mom. No. You heard him. He's not here. He is. They don't want us here. Mitch! Mitch, wait! What? It's gonna be all right. Stop lying. You think I don't know this vacation is not really a vacation? What are you saying? See? Lying again. Fine. You're right. You should have said that earlier. Uh, Mitch, wait!
Get down, Mitch. Why are you lying? Because I'm scared. You keep saying there's nothing to be scared of. Just tell me the truth. Why isn't Daddy with us? I ran away from him. Why? I was afraid he'd leave me just like my dad did. I didn't want to be a burden to anybody. And because of that, I don't have a father. Yes. I'm sorry, Mitch. Back then, I thought he'd look for me if he wanted to find me. So why do you want for us to meet now? I have to find a new home for you. You need a father and a family. I don't need a father and a new family. I've got you. <sighs> I'm very sick, Mitch. Are you dying, Mom? I don't know. I guess I am. But why? We both knew about it, but we kept pretending otherwise, right? But I want to be with you. I want to be with you too, kid. Having you was the only right choice I made in my life. I'm not going to die before I find you a family. So let's go somewhere far, far away and look forever. Later, I asked my mom what thoughts a dying person has. She said, one hopes that it's not going to happen tomorrow. Mom? Mommy? She's barely breathing. I'll get some help, Mom. She's going to die. I'm not falling for that. I have to call an ambulance. What you doing, you little brat? I'll bust you up. My mom is dying. This is a trick. Do you have a phone? No, but the neighbors do. Where is it? Uh, I'm gonna go there. No, you go get my mom. She's on that hill under a tree. Okay, okay. Go past the windmill along the fence, then straight through a field all the way to a ditch. After the ditch, you'll see a white house at the end of a road. I didn't know how long that path was. I could barely see running through the rain. All I remember was my heart pounding so hard I felt it in my throat.
I tried not to think about mom so I wouldn't cry. But was I crying? The hard rain drowned out my howling. Finally, I saw a warm light coming through the rain. Do you have a phone? What happened? Won't you come inside, child? No time! Please call an ambulance! My mom is unconscious and needs help! She's sick! Hello? Yes, I need help. Where should they go? To that old farm nearby. Apple Hill, Old Lester Johnson's farm. They're coming. You should dry off. No time! I have to go back! Wait! I'll grab my kid and go with you. Let's go. Come on, help me take your mom inside. Dad, take care of the baby. Mitch, you give me a hand. We have to warm her up. Start the fire. It's cold in here. Will you light it up, boy? Thanks so much for the help, you and your daughter. Melanie is my son's wife. My dad's wife? Well, yeah. Can she hear us? I think she does. Maybe if I bring back my dad, you'll wake up? Mom? Where's Frank? Frank? My dad. Who? Playing at the Blue Barn like every Thursday. There's a neon sign by the off ramp. I'd never driven a truck like that before, but that night I found out that I could. That's when the time stopped. I saw my dad for the first time.
have to help my mom, sir. You're interrupting, boy. Where are your parents? You have to come with me, or she's gonna die. You want me to kick that kid out? Wait, Andy. Chill out, kid. What's up? I'm Louise Connor's son. Lou? And your son, sir. Do you know this girl? Is it her? Please say something to her, sir. Play her something you wrote for her. Dad. Mom woke up and lived a few more days. She was strangely calm. Then, she was gone. It was the best month of my life, but also her last. We'd been together like never before, and I think she loved it too. Mom really tried hard, and everything we went through influenced who I've become. Today is the anniversary of my mom's death. I'm the same age now as she was when she died. She wanted to change many things, but she ran out of time. Sometimes I have a feeling she's right behind me, whispering into my ear, don't mess it up, Mitch. My mother once told me the most important thing in life is to have principles. In my line of work, there's one principle. One shot, one kill. I've got no problem with that, but my family disowned me. They told me once I should get a regular job. What's a regular job? A pool cleaner? I also have a son. The best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm trying to show him everything that's good about life. And I hope I won't run out of time. I'm just now beginning to understand what my mother felt when she found out about her illness. I understand how much she lost. My mom loved me. She did her best for me. She won some, she lost more. But one thing she managed for sure, the best month of our lives. <laughs>